Well, here we are, lovely Duluth. Uh, I have a permaculture Quigle Kultur yard update for you. It's April 22nd. Um, we actually had some snow today, this morning. It snowed yesterday, too. But probably got up to about 48 degrees today. Um, as you can see, we've been working a lot on the garden boxes here. We've got about 208 square feet of room in there. To a depth of two feet. Built a little retaining wall out of rock. Reused rock. Um, as for the yard, though, had cousin Rob up here doing some tree trimming. Trimmed up these aspens pretty nice. Gonna let a lot more sunlight back into the hillside garden. I'll trim some of these aspens up here in front of the uh, compost pile. Let a little more sun in, a little more heat. Really generate that uh, decomposition that we're looking for. But as far as the mounds go, let's go check that out. Oh, this way it seems to be blocked by aspen limbs. All right. So our first level, we got one, two, three, four. Oh, five levels going at this point. First level is basically just in the wood phase. We've got all sorts of different brush, different sizes, different uh, types. Mashed in pretty good. I've been piling it up, stomping it down, clipping it back, throwing it on top, doing the whole process over again. Until I've got a pretty thick wall, about two feet high, I'd like to say. Um, running the length of the hill here. Well, eventually, we're going to cover that with some organic material, uh, yard scraps, whatnot. We've uh, ripped up all these old railroad ties from the old garden bed and then laid them kind of across here to, to form another terrace. Uh, more, more to come on that. Kind of let them do their thing. As for the secondary wall, really been trying to uh, lay some thicker logs down on this outside base so that uh, it kind of holds things in place. Uh, did a lot of work on that today. Looking pretty cleaned up. Got some rocks that we've been finding periodically. We're lining up. Eventually we'll construct a little stone wall here. Oh, let's get down on it. Kind of hold things in place. Plus, the rocks will absorb heat from the sun, especially in the winter and spring. Kind of keep this area a little bit warmer at nighttime and during the days. Um, but as far as the mounds themselves go, this one's been overlaid pretty good with some leaves yard scraps. Got some turf chunks here. They're just literally pieces of turf thrown on upside down. Uh, as we go, same process, just repeating itself over and over. Eventually we'll get a good layer of dirt, about an inch or so, too thick, covering this whole thing. And then the uh, the idea there is the logs will start to decompose slowly over time, releasing their nutrients into this uh, berm we're making. Then the uh, as as they're decomposing, they're going to be sucking in a lot of moisture, actually acting as a sponge. So water-loving plants should do good here. Um, kind of help get through some dry periods. But also as the wood's decomposing, it's going to be releasing a little bit of heat. Um, so hopefully we can get some plants that we wouldn't normally see in this region or ones that we don't really see thrive, growing pretty well in these berms. 
thinking a lot of berry bushes uh, interspersed with some maybe alders underneath these pine spruces uh, the alders like the water but they're also nitrogen fixers that could be a big boost for anything growing um, and then just up the pathway we've been clearing brush left and right getting rid of all this old European buckthorn it's pretty overgrown in here but really opening up the area and you get a lot of uh, late afternoon sun creeping through here so a lot of potential for this hillside um, same deal with this path we're just in the early stages of uh, some mounds here just getting whatever brush we can in place getting some rocks that we find throwing them in there just trying to stabilize the hillside should all really prevent uh, erosion keep water on the hill keep dirt on the hill um, and grow some good plants that's the update um, yeah check back with you in a little bit